Oh, Shabin, man. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Riveting from start to finish. You know it's good when the audience are talking to the stage. And there were lots of people going, mm-hmm, that's right. Yes, that's exactly what it's like. So you had a lot of, mm-hmm, you had a lot of that going on. And that meant it was a good night out. You know, I thought the show was a real reflection of how it was in the 50s and 60s. And I'll tell you what, you can translate it into what's happening today. It was a bit of like Romeo and Juliet, forbidden love. It all felt real, quite natural, and they, they felt like a family. There was a balance between humour and seriousness, which you don't really get in most performances. So it was nice to talk about a serious concept, but still make it funny and fun. It was very funny. Like There were some parts where I was just like, my stomach was hurting, and it was very funny, I enjoyed it. It made me be proud of like my race, and that we can make a change. And you don't let us to anyone, you can just do what you want to do, and you can do it stronger. What I love is that the, um, the play is set in the past, but it's really relevant today. The past were exemplary and Martina Laird is a goddess. Martina. Martina got me, man. Martina got me from the word go. The leading lady, absolutely riveting from start to finish. Yes, I love the music. It reminds me of my grandparents. I love the music. It's another character. It kind of brings the story together. I think it's for like, all family members, from young to old, because it relates to how we are as a generation today. That show for me was one of the best shows I've seen. Get a vibe of the old school Shabins and where music actually started. It comes yeah. here, it comes here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody should come along and see it because this is about people making an effort to fit in with this country and how you deal with that.